this play on what is the intention so because i mean we live in more of conscious right so we can only figure out some conscious things the intention can but how then we can go deep and see that from the conscious you will know the subconscious the unconscious everything what else is the function of the root it shows up as the fruit so go and look at the fruit and you will know the root fruit is nothing but an extension of the root so if you can look at the conscious you will find that it is just an extension of the unconscious hmm the conscious mind is only an expression of the unconscious mind it is not different if you are not careful enough you will start saying the fruit is different from the root they are not different they are organically linked the root is becoming the fruit similarly the unconscious is showing up as the conscious so pay attention to the conscious pay attention to whatever is going on and you will figure out what is hiding hmm so just keep looking at your thought actions thought actions and you will know your intention in fact it was a very nice revelation in the first scene of your play you were there and you come and ask him what is the intention what is the intention after you have asked three or four times he starts getting irritated so it is exposed what the intention is the intention is self preservation because if you are asking him what is the intention then he is getting irritated so don't you see what he is trying to do he is trying to defend himself protect himself that exposes the intention the intention is to protect oneself full stop so if you can just look at how we behave react respond these little things then you will know what is lurking within what is trying to hide hmm that is why facts are important see where you spend your time that will tell you of your intention see where you spend your money that will tell you of your intention money is a very important indicator see where you spend your money and see where you do not spend your money see where you want to cut corners and say and see where you want to be lavish hmm have you not heard that little phrase put your money where your mind is money really goes where the mind is so if you want to know where somebody's mind is see where his money is going he will not be prepared to spend his money on spirituality there he will want to cut corners but on other matters he will want to be very generous throw him away money that will tell you of what your real intention is see where somebody is spending his time these are the two things that you very greatly value don't you money time and if you can be a little more observant see what is going on on in your mind see what circulates in your mind that will tell you of your intention actions 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 look at your actions don't look at the intentions you avo don't look at the intentions you claim and profess look at your actions they will tell you of your real intentions otherwise we all carry professed intentions they are hollow claims your actions your thoughts they tell you of where you are really headed to what you really want to do
let there be a sink between these two that is why somebody like kabir would always talk of having a sink between kathani and karni that is the same as saying put your money where your mouth is kathani and karni put your money where your mouth is just see what you say and just see what you do you say that you are a devotee but when it comes to putting the money on the table you are the most miserly person in the world kathani karni ko bhed that will help you discover your real irada irada kya hai what is the real intention 